بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The next important topic is consignment So first of all what is consignment? Consignment is basically a contract between consigner and consignee in which the consigner send the goods to the consignee and let him to sell the goods on his behalf and when he sold the goods he has to repay the money or send money and he ca if he cannot sell the goods he has to resend the goods, right? Now let me explain it through a simple example. Let us say, for example, I have a company by the name of A Company. What company? A Company. And there is another, for example, seller in the market by the name of B. I make a contract with B and I tell him, for example, I will send you the goods. You try to sell it. If you sell this one, of course, you will receive your commission. What is the advantage of the B? So the advantage of the B is definitely commission. I send him the goods. And I let them, for example, to sell my goods. When he sold the goods, he will pay me money. When he cannot sell the goods, definitely he will return goods back to the business. In this contract, I am sending the goods. So, uh, so definitely in this contract, I can be called as consigner. Can be called as what? Well as a consigner. The second party, which is called B, and B has to sell the goods, he is called what? Consignee. So there is a contract between consigner and consignee. Consigner send the goods to the consignee. Consignee should sell the goods. Otherwise, he has to return the goods back to the business. So if this is so, if we have consignment contract in, the, in our company and we have used QuickBook, how we can manage the consignment contract in the QuickBook, right? So at the same time, you may have, for example, several consignment contracts. You may have, for example, one consignment contract, we can say with Kabul, another consignment contract with Mazar Sharif, another consignment with Jalalabad and so on. So you send to all of them, to A, to B, to C, to D, and so on. And you let each one to sell the goods. If they sell, so they will, of course, uh, pay you money. Otherwise, if they cannot sell, they have to, or they will return the good back to the business. This is what the consignment contract. So if this is so in the QuickBook, in your company, how we can manage it with the QuickBook? There is basically six steps. How many six steps? Six steps. Step number one, if you want to consider some amount, if you want to consider uh, some item as a consignment, so first of all, you have to create an account. Create an other current asset account and give a name such as inventory on consignment. Why? Because you need to divide your inventory into two parts. Some part of your inventory as a consignment and some of your inventory as regular as regular inventory right so you need to divide your inventory into two parts inventory on consignment and the next one is regular regular inventory that is already available in your quickbook so for those inventory which we want to consider as on consignment so for that one we have to create an account under other current assets right so let us do the steps one by one for this purpose now let us go for the quickbook so go for the chart of account, right? Right click this one. And of course, select other current asset. Other what? Other current asset. And in this one, give a name such as inventory on consignment. What? Inventory on, on inventory on consignment. Inventory on consignment. The name is inventory on consignment. There is no need for value and so on. Just save and close. So account is created, step number one is done. We have created account under other current asset and inventory on consignment, that was the name. After that, create an item. Account is created, now we have to create an item as well. Create an item under inventory part and give a name such as item on, con on consignment. Previously, inventory on consignment. Why? Because we have to, we had to basically divide our inventory into two parts. Now we have to divide our items also into two parts. Which item you want to consider on consignment? Item A, item B, item C, item D, or so on. So that is why you have to create an item under inventory part and give a name such as inventory on consignment. Right? In the account, in the inventory account, select the account which you have already created in step number one. And this is the parent account. Okay? Now let us go in the item and create an item as well just right click account is created now this is the time to create an item right an item should be created under inventory part as it is said right and give a name such as 
item on consignment. What on consignment? Item on previously inventory on consignment. Now item on consignment. Item on con. Item on consignment, right? Of course, this is the name. But in of course in the asset account in in this case. You have to select the uh, the inventory account which you have created in the previous stage. In the previous stage, we have created inventory on consignment, right? So you have to select this one. And instead of the common inventory, you have to select this inventory. Why this is so? Because we want to classify our inventory into two parts, right? That is the case. And of course, in the income account, do not select your sales account, but you can create an income account also by the name of sales on consignment. By the name of what? Sales on consignment this was not under the steps but you can create it this one sales on consignment right so rest of the thing is fine so we have selected the item on consignment in the account this one is very important you have to select inventory on consignment but in the income account of course you have to select the sales on consignment right save this one a step number two is also done a step number three now we have to allocate which item we want to sell or we want to consider on consignment. For this purpose, create a duplicate item for all types of items that you want to send on consignment. Then how we can do it? We can do it with the QuickBook itself. So this is the item list. Come once again to the item list. Now it depends on you. Which item you want to send on consignment. For example, we want to send battery on consignment. Just right click on the battery. Come down. You can find a duplicate item. Right? Click on this one. So remove the duplicate and instead of this one, mention battery on consignment. What on consignment? Battery on C-O-N. Just enough. Battery on consignment. Right? So that's it. But of course, it should be the sub account of what? It should be the sub account of an item on consignment. Previously, we have created item on consignment. Right? So battery on consignment should be one of the sub item of item on consignment. But once again, in the inventory account, you have to select the inventory on consignment. In the sales, of course, you have to select sales on consignment. What? Sales on consignment. You have to sales. Sales on consignment. Or consignment sales. Yeah, sales on consignment. Right? So that is it. You have to you have select it. So save this one. Save and next. Right? Okay, save and close. Go for the next item. What else you want to consider? on consignment for example keyboard we want to send keyboard also on consignment right click on the keyboard double click remove the duplicate part and mention for example keyboard on consignment right again this one also should be the sub account of what the sub account of item on consignment and the inventory account you have to select inventory on consignment in the sales of course you have to select sales on sales on consignment so sales on on consignment Save this one also. What else you want to consider on consignment? For example, we want to send, uh, we can say motherboard also on the consignment. Just right click, double click this one also. Just three items is enough, right? This one. So motherboard, C-O-N dot. It means consignment. Again, this one also should be the sub account of, the sub account of item on consignment. And the next, of course, uh, the inventory account. And here you have to select the sales account, right? So that is that. Rest of the thing is fine, save and close. So that is that. This step is also done. So we have considered some of the items as consignment. But if you check now the balance, the balance of item on consignment, where is the balance of item on consignment? Where is that? This was the bank. Okay, let's check the item list. Item on consignment, yeah. Balance of this one. How many balance? Basically, on sales on consignment, there is no balance, right? And the next one, how many balloons? There is no balloons. And the next one, how many balloons? There is no balloons. Now we have to put something this, or we have to transfer some balloons in this one. Of course, we have balloons in the account of battery, original battery. How many battery we have? This is the battery. How many book we have? This is the book. And how many, for example, motherboard we have? There is balance of motherboard as well. How many balloons, for example? This one is the balance of motherboard. So we have to transfer some balloons from all these accounts to this one, right? But first of all, let me purchase motherboard. I think motherboard balance is negative, right? Enter a bill from someone and purchase, for example, motherboard. Purchase what? Motherboard. Why balance should not be negative, right? 
Let us say, for example, we want to purchase thousand motherboard and seven closers one. Okay. Now balance of motherboard is how much? Nine hundred ten. Balance of, for example, keyboard is also seven something like that, and balance of uh, book or something like that. So in the main account there are balance, but in the consignment account there is no balance. So we have to transfer file balance from, or, or we can say we have to transfer items from the main accounts to the consignment accounts or to the consignment items. How we can do this one for this purpose? Go for the vendor, and then of course come to the inventory activities, and then go for adjust quantity and value, right? Then here you have to select the accounts to which you want to make adjustment. So select which item you want to send on consignment or which items you want to make adjustment. The battery, the book, I think that was the book, right? That was the book or something else. Let me check out. No, that was not the book which we want to send. Battery was on consignment, keyboard was on consignment, and we can say motherboard was on consignment. So select the main account as well as select the 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 consignment account. Battery on consignment, select keyboard on consignment, as well as select motherboard on consignment. Three consignment account as well as three main accounts battery consignment and this one then add this items now see six items are added six of them are three of them are the parent or the main account and three of them are the consignment right see battery battery on consignment keyboard keyboard on consignment and ma motherboard motherboard on consignment now what we should do here we have to transfer balance from main battery account to the battery on consignment account so how we can do it, we can do in this way, right? Mention the balance. How many items that you want to transfer from the main battery account to the consignment account? For example, we want to send 75 items. How many items? 75 items. If you want to send 75 items, so uh, minus 75 items from this item. This is 1,975. If you want to transfer 75 items to this account, so definitely the balance of this one will decrease by how much? By 75. So here you have to record, for example, 1900 only. If there is a 1900, definitely the balance will be equal to how much? Balance will be equal to minus 70, right? But now, how much is the balance of this one? Battery on consignment. Battery, balance of battery on consignment is zero. But we want to make it how much? 75, right? So now the balance is 75. Basically, there won't be any effect on the balance of the battery, on, on overall battery. Why? Because it is decreased in the main account by 75, but it is increased in the sub account by how much? By 75. Previously, balance was 1925, now it is 17, 1900. It is decreased by minus 75. But previously, in this account, balance was zero, but now we have increased to 75. So minus 75 and positive 75 both equalize each other, so there is no effect, right? The next one, balance of keyboard. How many keyboard we have? We have, for example, 740. So we want to send 140 of this one to the uh, battery, to the keyboard on consignment. If you want to send 140, so here you have to record the new item, 600. How much? 600. So balance is neg negative by how much? By 140. So now go for the battery, go for the keyboard on consignment. And the new item mentioned 140. Right? That is the case. It means it is decreased here, it is increased here. It is decreased here, it is increased here. And go for one more item, keyboard on consignment. How many items? 910. So we want to send 110 of this one on consignment. If you send 110, definitely remaining balance is equal to how much? So mention 800, mention 110 in this one itself, right? That's the case. So it is minus here, it is added here. It is minus here, it is added, right? So there is no, basically, adjustment, no need for making adjustment in the battery. So now save this one, okay? Now if you check item on consignment, on the battery, you have a balance. On the, consign, on the keyboard, you have balance. On the motherboard also, you have balance. So this step is also, also done, right? Transfer is done. Next one, now, for example, uh, let us say, for example, we want to send goods to the consignment. Now it is time to send the goods to the consigner, 
consignor request to please send the goods. In order to record this one in the QuickBook, we just make a sales order only in the QuickBook, not to the not invoice. We will not make any invoice for the consignor until the consignor send, sell the goods. So when we send the goods to the consignor, we just make only sales order. When they sell the goods, or the whole goods or part of the goods, then on that case, we can have to create an invoice. So until they sell the goods, we have to create a sales order only in the QuickBook. Create a sales order. So sales order is created when? When we send the goods to the, to the customers, to the, to the consignor. Let us say, for example, one of our customers by the name of, we can say, customer on consignment. Customer, for example, for, uh, for consign. Customer for consignment. Let us say, for example, this is the name of the customer. Which item we want to send on consignment, for example, then select the item. Those items which you have already allocated for consignment, that one should be selected, not the other item. Select this one, for example, select the next one, and of course, select the, select the next one, right? Then how many items, for example, then item you can mention, for example, how many items? Let us say, for example, uh, 20 of this one, let us say 30 of this one, right? And let us say, for example, 40 or 25 of this one as well. So this is for the purpose of sending the goods to the customers, right? Sending the goods to the consigners. This is basically the consigner. So even in the in state of customer, you can mention consigner, right? Consigner, whatever is the case, it is fine. Consigner is also good. So this is the time that we have sent the goods to the, to the consigner, right? So although we send the goods to the consigner, but we should not make invoice. Why we should not make invoice? Because there is a condition. What condition? Condition is this one. We can create invoice for the cast for the consigner for the consignee only when they sell the goods. When they have sold the goods, then on that case we have to create invoice. So save this one. So this is done. Now we are waiting for the customers to sell the goods. Let us say, for example, customers sold part of the goods. When they sold part of the goods, for the sold part of the goods, we have to create the invoice. And this is called progress invoicing. Create this one. Select the specific customer. Which customer? Customers on consignment. So this was the amount, right? Now, create invoice for the whole and create invoice for selected item. Create invoice for the selected items. So let us say, for example, customer sold part of the good only. Not the whole goods, but they sold part of the goods. For example, how much they have sold, you can mention here, basically, right? This was the sales order. For how much you want, you want to invoice? Previously, they have received or we have sent 20 items on consignment, the first consignment. First, was, first consignment was battery. 20 items of battery we have sent on consignment. Let us say, for example, this time he sold only 10 of them. Also, for example, we have sent 30 battery on consignment. And the customer were able to sell only 10 of them. And also we have sent motherboard on consignment. How many motherboard? For example, we have sent 25. Let us say he sold the whole motherboard on this time. So let us save this one. Right? Save and close. If now you go for the customer, enter, and click on the specific customer by the name of, okay, now this one, sorry, the invoice. There is an invoice by for customer, customer for consignment. And the amount is how much? 2500 something like that right now let us say for example next time customer called me or this we can say consignee called me that he has sold the remaining part as well so i have to create another invoice for that one so once again go for the invoice and create select the specific customer select this one itself say okay so select invoice for the specific right once again do this one so now it show only the remaining part Previously, initially was 20. In the previous invoice, we have invoice for 10. Now remaining is 10. And also, of course, for the keyboard, remaining is 15. But there is no remaining motherboard. Why? Because motherboard is sold out, right? If again, for example, he was not able to sell the whole keyboard, let us say, for example, this time he sold only 10 of the keyboard, right? So save this one again. Again, for example, he called me that he was able to sell the whole of them. Once again, you have to go for the invoice and 
create an invoice for the remaining part, right? Yep. Yeah. Now select it. Only motherboard, only keyboard is remaining. And how many keyboard is remaining? Five keyboard is remaining. Now we can create invoice. Now if you go for the invoice, there are three invoices. One invoice for this one, second invoice, and this is the third invoice. So in this way, you can manage your consignment. Create an asset account by the name of inventory on consignment, then create an item by the name of item, then duplicate the items, then transfer the items, then when you sell the when you send the goods, send the goods or transfer the goods to the consignee, then create a sales order. When he sold part of the goods, create invoice only for the part of the goods which is sold by the consignee.